Hi everybody, uh, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing week 13 of the Simply Random Challenge. I am a good few weeks behind, so I'm going to try and catch up whenever, <laughs> okay? Uh, so a Simply Random Challenge is hosted by Emily Plowfield from Junk Journal Inspirations. And we get six prompts to work on and with four categories in them. The categories are a theme, a color, a um, t -t 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 um, items, and a technique, okay? If I'm not mistaken. I'm doing this for a few weeks now, but I think I'm right. So the, the theme today is going to be for all week 13 is going to be something hot. Uh, the color is bright, the technique is torn, and the three items are acetate, markers, and packaging tape. So, I kind of wanted to do something uh, in line with my uh, Biz, Bustling Bees uh, junk journal. And, um, I, I, you know, I just wanted to add to it. And I thought of uh, making a uh, bookmark. Okay, an acetate bookmark. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so uh, what's the first thing I have? I have something hot, which is sun and sunflowers. Okay, so I thought I'd use that and it satisfies bright as well. So I'm going to be um, looking at those two things here. Then I wanted to um, use, so that's going to be for bright and bright, hot, something hot, and uh, torn. And then I thought I'm going to use a book page uh, in the, uh, the journal, I mean, sorry, in the acetate tag. So I'm covering a uh, book page, I'm not book page here, no nothing <laughs> i'm gonna tear it so it's gonna cover torn a bit of torn over there okay i've got my acetate to the side and i'm gonna be using my markers now so let's see what i'm going to get out of it so now this is a this is one of my freebies on my facebook group i think no maybe not but i, I mean it's kind of from there uh, and then what I did was I tried to cut it with my silhouette and yeah, the alignment is not fantastic. So I thought I'm going to use this today. I've done one to the side. I think I need three. I really want to use that flower there and maybe this one over here as well. Uh, or that one. Let's see how it goes. If I use that one, I'd be closer to that one. So I'm going to tingy this. And I felt, I thought, I mean, not I thought, not I felt, it seems that I get better control if I have it on the page to a certain point. Um, because, yeah, I don't really have the strongest of fingers. So this is me doing it torn. And I'm trying to mimic the... Uh, you know, the jagged edges of the petals here and then so now that I got it to almost somewhere near where I can manage to tear it myself then I'm going to start tearing it myself now oh I was tearing it myself right <laughs> excuse me you can see I'm um, it's late in the evening here on Saturday night it is after 10 so that brain is not functioning too well so <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm, uh, but then some people can ask when does it ever function uh, we'll not get into that we won't okay so that's one that I am going to be using and then Let's try this one now. Uh, so, yeah, 
Yeah, so while I am busy giving my fingers a workout here, uh, I hope that you are all doing well. And I hope that you are crafting uh, the weekend away. I didn't craft today. I mean, okay, that's a lie. I did some coffee. Um, so I cleaned my, my grocery cupboards out. And then there was some hard coffee there. Oh, I don't know, was it chocolate coffee? Or it was either chocolate or hazelnut or whatever. But I think it was chocolate. And I kind of didn't like it. So I left it. And then I put water in it because I liked the bottle. And then I went to the sink to do something. And then the water bottle fell down. And the lid wasn't on tightly. And then, like, the, the, this coffee now, which became softer and coloured the water, uh, started running into the sink because I had it on the draining board. And I was like, oh, happy dance. Why didn't I think of this? I mean, I normally do. I don't know why. I told you that brain is not thinking. Um, and I, like, but it was a small little jar like that. So whatever was in it, I topped it up a bit with more water. And I went outside. And I was planning anyway to do some coffee staining today. I mean, coffee dyeing today. But um, I was planning to do it on a larger volume than I did. But I also, it was because of, um, you know, I, I, I had to clean out that grocery cupboard. Had to go and feed the birds with some of the seeds that were sitting there, like the sunflower seeds, which I use uh, if I'm making like a, um, like you know, like granola or uh, yeah, it was sunflower seeds and it was pumpkin seeds and everything. I had to throw them out because I haven't been using them for a while. So I fed the birds with that. But where am I going with this? Anyway, I did some crafting. Right, so these are the two that I took out, and now I thought, okay, how am I going to get through those those edges? And then I remembered I had the distress markers. Now you can use the stress ink over here, but the difference is that the distress markers is going into only the places I want it to go in. So. And it's just kind of um, filling up the yellow of the uh, sunflower and removing the white edges where I tore it. Okay, so that's all it's doing. So that's why I'm using the distress markers. Oh, and besides, that was one of the prompts, markers. So I am doing that with it. Yes, yeah, so I did coffee staining. Uh, some papers outside. It was still a, a nice sunny day, but the sun is going down very quickly now. Yeah. And then I've got another project on the go. Let me see what color this is. Walnut stain might be a bit too dark. I just have a few vintage photo. What is this? Antique linen. I'm trying to find a darker color. Let's go with vintage filter. Ah, come on, you'll get it right soon. Yeah, I think this might work better. No, 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 no. Let's go with our scattered straw like we did. Okay. So just covering up the ends. Really, I do only have a few, so this might isn't the best of colors, but it's gonna do. It's going to do with a bit of walnut stain in it. Let's see. Okay. So yeah. So yeah. So as I said, I hope you are uh, managing to do some crafts this weekend let's add some vintage photo <laughs> it 
And did you see me purposely chain turning it around, thinking that we could do that edge? I mean, we could use the right tip, but mm -hmm, that wasn't to work, right? Yeah, so I'm just, uh, it, yeah, it is the stress markers, so you can see me just using my finger. Right, and this was done with, uh, this was printed with uh, the Epson inject, uh, the, the, the color tank printer. So uh, you can see the color is moving around over there. I mean, that's what inkjets do. So don't, you know, shouldn't be shocked, but I think I'm liking the effect. And then I'm just using whatever I have on my uh dauber here or what else? no it's not called a dauber blending sponge to uh, in walnut stain to be able to do that so these are three flowers that we're going to use i don't know whether we need three i hope so because now i did that so i took the book page and i already started working on it and i covered up the the the, the i mean i just put the edges in like that and then what am i using my packaging tape for so let's before we do anything, let's um let's glue this baby down after we clean this. You know, last night I was so tired. Can you hear that son of mine? He's playing around with his dad while the other one is fast asleep. Yeah, so, oh, what was I even saying? I have no clue. It's very clearly a sign of old age. Going on here. I have, I can't even remember what I was saying. Imagine that. Anyway, clearly it wasn't worth talking about there. Just gonna glue that up there like that so I started this and I wanted to see whether it was going to work what I, I was going to do and also because I didn't want this video to be excessively long like how they all are there's my packaging tape I'm trying to figure out it's so tight then so all I'm going to do is uh, I don't want so much of the book cover to show book page to show. Uh, so I am going to try and uh, you all know this technique, right? It's nothing new. We put it down and you pick up some of the book pages. The, I mean the print. That's what I'm doing with my packaging tape. And look, you can even use that. Okay, so that's that now. And if I look at a pay a book, we need to we need to tear it down anyway. So I think I'm gonna tear it down at the writing on both sides. Like that. So there's another torn project here. Oh another requirement we are satisfying in terms of the prompts we are tearing it down okay there you go let's just throw it into the bin where it belongs for now right so i'm just inking up the edges to give it more definition so this is cool i like it funny enough i was going to be making a bookmark for the journal anyway and look at that 
this well i made this project lend itself i made this challenge sorry sorry i'm banging i made this challenge lend itself to what i wanted to make and there's the acetate oh ho, ho. and i do apologize i know that this is going to hurt your eye here and i apologize you know what i didn't find my rulers yet let's see nope so we need it bigger da, 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 da. trying to look where this is fitting i'm going to sew around it so i need some some space to do that am i getting it even straight something you have something here okay so here we go let's see i know that this must be since my brain is not functioning i'm not going to use it upside down about six so it must be six right so i think about eight let's draw a line at eight Yeah, like this, like this. Even though I like this really, it's like, I feel it's so thick. So eight, and then 16. Moved, I thought as much, I felt it move. Uh, 16. Okay, and this is a dry white marker, dry eraser marker, and I'm using here. Um, just gonna put my ruler on that side so it doesn't provide too much of the glare. So I got these lights, but I think you can get those things that defuse it so you don't see the glare i'm not even sure i bought these lights uh when i started doing the youtube videos and i was like i'm not sure if I, i'm going to continue with this or whatever but i so enjoy it because i love crafting and then what it just does is it's an, it allows me uh, it, it like forces me to craft because I do a lot of other things as well. Right, so let's see. I can even cut it down a little bit more. But we'll see. That's a nice fat tag. Okay, so that's that. Now let's add these in here. We don't want to create too much of bulk. At the same time. Okay, so let's add these in here. And I'm going to be sewing this as well. And there's something. I should have actually added some to the other side as well. Didn't think about it. You know that? I didn't think about it. Since I didn't think about it, let's see what we can add because we've got a whole lot of film right here. We can add these to it, or maybe these. these that with a butterfly i mean a bee just to the other side because it's going to be an acetate tag um 
right? Crafting on the fly. Isn't that what it's all about? Crafting on the fly. Like that. There and there. So I wonder what you, all you ladies have uh, um, think for tomorrow, have uh, got planned for tomorrow. So I have a project that is I want to finish. I don't know if I'm going to finish it tomorrow because it takes some drying time. So I don't know whether I'm going to finish it tomorrow. But I'm going to try and finish it tomorrow. Okay. Because I'd love to use it. is like this okay so there we go we are done with this on the side now so we've actually managed to do both the sides like that and now what i'm going to do is i am going to take it to the sewing machine and i am going to sew this together like that Where's my, there we go, it's a bit big, but they'll work, okay. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine, and hopefully I will be able to get it to uh, sit properly. And I am going to sew it together, and I'm going to get back to you, okay. So let's do that. Okay, so I am back. And man, the Dutch sewing machine grumble on me. Uh, yeah, but it's not the. It's, it's, it's an old sewing machine, but it has sentimental value. So there it is, done. And then. I think I am going to cut it if my scissor allows me to. I think that's done. Uh, so yes, as I was saying, I think I'm hoping that this gives you some sort of inspiration to be able to, um, you know, use some ideas and uh, put them into your junk journals. Okay. And uh, if you find this... Um, if you find the content useful and you enjoy listening to me rambling on and you'd like to see more videos, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you are already a subscriber, then can uh, please consider hitting, uh, or, or when you even subscribe, consider hitting that notification button so that you are notified every time I, uh, you know, post a video on YouTube here. Yeah, you see what happened over there? You can see it messed it up. My machine messed up there. So I'm going to pull the, the thread in like that. And then I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I'm not going to, I'm going to see how I'm going to pull that thread in and cut it there. Okay, but that's done now. So let's see whether we met the challenge. Uh, that Emily has set for us in terms of um, using whatever she asked. I do hope so. Uh, it seemed like I may not have. Let's see. Okay, so this is irritating me now, but I'll have to sort it out. And here as well. Oh no, that's the part where I'm finished stitching. Right, so um, as I was mentioning, yes, if you find this content interesting, to, to subscribe to my youtube channel please um please <laughs> and then also my facebook group sunny creates junk journals i put a rather nice uh well i think it's rather nice you see i, I just couldn't leave it alone a rather nice uh, freebie on there yesterday and um you can get it if you join 
and there are other freebies there as well so it's not this is the only one so this was the freebie i put in yesterday and um yeah on my youtube channel so please go download this and use it in your um your creations your physical creations and have fun with it okay so let's see did we meet the cha challenge i'll put the links down below hey for youtube um not youtube this is youtube uh for the facebook group and my etsy store if you are interested something hot i went with sun for sunflowers bright oh this is bright enough torn i tore out the sunflowers and i tore out the uh what's this wordy the book a uh, book page the acetate yes markers yes i covered the white edges after i tore it up with the markers and packaging tape i used the packaging tape to remove some of the um the print on the book page so yay i did it i managed to do this um this challenge so remember simply random challenge week 13 i believe and uh it's hosted by emily plowfield from junk journal inspirations so take care ladies and enjoy the rest of your weekend yeah uh it's mother's day weekend so we still got mother's day to go but do enjoy it rest and have a blessed week ahead i will see you tomorrow i do have a video for you tomorrow that is part of our a to z times two series take care bye